Oggi vorrei parlare di alimentazione. Why is nutrition so important? First of all, because we, at this stage, must keep our body strong and ready to defend itself from COVID-19. We must maintain a diet that allows our body to maintain its immune defenses high to cope with any contact with COVID-19. Having a healthy diet means being ready and strong against COVID-19. First of all, know that it doesn't mean overeating. It is not necessary. In this period, we want a balanced and low-calorie diet. Moreover, we want a low-calorie diet because we do less physical activity. And in another episode, we will also talk about what type of physical activity is possible to do within the corners of our homes. Being at home must not have you abandon physical activity completely. Going back to the topic of nutrition, you must avoid nibbling often. Limit your meals to two, a maximum of three per day. Then, have a long, non-feeding intervals. It would be a good idea to keep the intervals between dinner and breakfast of at least 12 hours. What is our goal? To strengthen our body. In this period, it is indicated to increase fruit intake. Since fruits already contain fructose, that is sugar, we limit the intake of refined sugars as much as possible. We take in more oranges, tangerines, kiwis, all are rich in vitamin C, but banana is also an excellent fruit. In short, eat fruits rich in vitamin C. This is very important. Other foods that do not contain fruit sugar are also important, such as carrots and other vegetables. They are all foods rich in vitamins, which must be eaten in abundance, especially in this period, but without exaggeration. Another important food is meat. I do not recommend overeating meat. The concept of having protein in your diet, which is fine, must, however, be directed towards proteins derived from fish, legumes, or eggs, without exaggerating the supply of milk, including vegetable milk. Overeating protein is not correct. So, eating too much meat is not good. Try to have a balanced diet. Of course, older people over 70 years of age need a slightly higher protein diet. So, they will be able to eat a little more protein, but people under 70 should have a normal protein diet and especially choosing proteins from fish, legumes, and therefore avoiding other kinds of meat as much as possible. Even cheese is very fatty and rich in milk, so limit their use. Take fruits, vegetables, and proteins from fish and legumes and try not to nibble during the day and leave periods of non-feeding of at least 12 hours, for example, between dinner and breakfast the next morning. Then we move on to supplements that are needed to integrate and help our bodies precisely. They must go to work mainly on vitamin D scores. So, it is very important to take vitamin C, various minerals, 
and also other natural substances that help strengthen our immunity, such as echinacea, which can be very, very useful at this stage. All probiotics are also important. Know that we must have great respect for our intestinal flora, which is our first barrier against infections. The production of substances very useful to our body is also useful to our immunity. Of course, this concerns healthy unaffected people because in the case of having symptoms or infection of COVID-19, one should follow the indications of the healthcare professionals who treat him or her. Drink a lot of water, at least a liter a day. Remember another thing. Fruit juices, which have nothing to do with the fruit itself, have added sugars, even if it is not written on the label. Packed fruit juice is assimilated to a sugary drink. Do not take unnatural fruit juices, but make homemade ones that are very useful to our health. Otherwise, the ones that are packed ought to be banned. I hope these little tips can be useful.